What's up guys? It's your girl Sophia RSVP and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be one of those follow-up videos where I try on some products that I received in my BoxyCharm boxes. And I'm trying out a few items from the August box and the July box today. Hence why I'm wearing this gorgeous blue eyeshadow. This is the finished look. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look and also see the BoxyCharm items that I used to create this look, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first product that I'm using from my August BoxyCharm is the Real Her Brow Defining Pencil. This pencil is really, really nice, you guys. It reminds me of the MAC Spiked Pencil. It actually glides on your brows and it's the perfect color and you are able to draw really fine hair line strokes to create a natural brow if that's what you're looking for because it has a really precise tip now I'm not trying to do that because I love a dramatic brow um, but using this product was super easy I typically use an angle brush and a gel liner so this is a really quick fast way to do a nice brow it was really easy to use once i finish um, drawing my brows on i will start to conceal to conceal i'm going to use born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in the color honey now I don't recommend this for anyone, my complexion. You can see that the concealer that I'm using under my brow is really, really light. Um, that is my under eye concealer that I'm using currently. And I would recommend that if you're my skin tone that you use something way closer to your skin tone. But because I'm really good at blending my brows out, I can still work with this color. But if you're not, uh, trained professional and not doing your makeup every single day I would recommend that you buy a uh, color closer to your skin tone so you don't have to worry about any kind of halo effect and also you guys are gonna see me highlight the top of my brow which I know nobody does that anymore but again they're my brows that's the way I like them and to this day I still highlight them I like the way it looks This is only the beginning of my blending. I'll be blending these eyebrows a lot. So this is the Too Faced palette and I'm using a neutral uh, off-white color for my brow bone. I use this color every day. It's probably my favorite one um, in that palette. It's a contour palette. There's also a really nice brown eyeshadow that I use in there every day as my transition color. This is the Chiate London palette that I've been dying to show you guys from my August box. I've been dying to use this blue. So happy I finally used it. I'm also going to use the Dermalect Lash Boosting uh, Formula. It's going to condition my eyelashes and I'm not wearing mascara. So I'm just going to put this on before I put my lashes on. My lashes are from Chloré, you guys. I can't remember the name, but I'll put it in the description box. These lashes are $5.99. I love them and I go through like so many pairs. Ole Henriksen New Banana Facial Primer and my L'Oreal Foundation Lumi as well as my MAC Foundation. I mix these two together to get the color that I want. And then I use a NYX brush to apply my foundation. More blending because I need to get rid of that concealer around my brows. And now I'm gonna do my under eye. So we're back using that same concealer by Too Faced in Honey. I apply a generous amount because I really like my concealer to be perfect. And once I finish applying it there at my nose, I really let it sit and dry before I start to 
use my beauty blender on it. If you get it to dry perfectly, it will look so amazing when you're done. So I use LA Girl, uh, the banana powder. It's $6.99, I think, at Chloré. I stopped using all those expensive powders because I really like this powder and the way it works for me. So I'm going to use that. This is the Ace Beauty Bronzed in Paradise palette. It's a bronzer palette. I've been using this to contour because I love how warm these browns are for my nose and to do my contour on the side. You guys can tell it looks really, really great. It looks natural on my skin. Um, so I'm loving this palette. Oh, it's from my July Boxy Charm, by the way. Mac Studio Fix, you guys. Yes, I still use it. I don't know. It's like a finishing product for me. I don't use the mineral powder, the other one that everybody likes. I still just stick to my good old NW45. It's good for blending out all of my um, highlights. I just, I just love NW45. I don't think I'll ever stop using it. And now I'm just putting a little more eyeshadow under eye before I put some mascara, I believe. And this is the Classic Blush by MAC Raisin. I think it's another MAC product that I'll never ever stop buying. Raisin just is the perfect blush for me. And this is a Laura Geller highlighter that I also use on a daily basis. I think this is a NYX pencil that I'm using. It's just like a brown that reminds me of whatever that popular color is by MAC. Um, chest, chestnut, I think it is. It's pretty similar to that, but NYX. My lipstick is also from my August Boxy Charm. It's MAC satin lipstick in mocha what a beautiful color i think i'll be wearing this color a lot it's gorgeous some grand drama mascara for my bottom lashes we're almost at the end guys looks good some matte fix plus by mac and it looks like we're done I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't do too many makeup videos because a lot of people don't follow me for makeup, but for the people that do, I am a trained makeup artist and I love and would do way more of these videos if you guys would watch them. So thumbs up this video if you guys wanna see more um, beauty tutorials. Um, and I wanna quickly show you guys the BoxyCharm items that I used. Once again, I used the Ace Beauty Bronson Beauty palette that I got in July for my contour. That's what it looks like, you guys. If you're looking for a bronzer slash contour palette, this one is amazing, so you should give it a go. I love it and it looks super natural on me. Um, to achieve this beautiful eye color, I used the Chiate London palette. It's called the Editor's Palette New England. And I used the blue in here that I've been dying over, which is this blue right here. This is the only color I used in this palette. I used a transition color and eyebrow, eyebrow bone color from, the Too Faced, from a Too Faced palette. Um, but I'm just focusing on the new items that I received recently in this video. I used the Derma, the Dermalect Cosmeceuticals. It's the XL Lash Volumizer. I used this on my lashes before I put on the falsies. I'm trying out the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. This is the color Honey that I've been wearing a lot. 
um at first i thought it was a little too light but i love how it looks in my photos so i'm going to continue using that color my brows i changed it up today and i used the real her brow pencil also i was trying to I was dying to try this pencil because it reminded me of Max Spiked Pencil. And yes, the color is dead on and easy to use. Glides right on your brows. Last but not least, I used Iconic Gloss. I'm not sure if I even showed you guys this, but this is the gloss I've been wearing lately, like for the last like couple months. It's actually going down pretty quickly. I haven't used one of my BoxyCharm lip glosses all the way till the end ever, but it looks like this one's a winner. That's it, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also like this video and leave me a comment if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any questions about any of the products I used, um, let me know down below. I loved all the products. The only con I have is for the Chiate palette. The When I swatched the blue eyeshadow when I unboxed the product, it looked like it was pretty pigmented and it is but you do have to build it up a lot and you'll get a lot of fallout when you're applying it, which doesn't usually happen to me with most of my really good eyeshadows. I love, love, love this color, so I will definitely, definitely wear it again. Um, but yeah, just be forewarned that for that particular color, you have to build it up until you get it to the rich blue that I got here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.